a small channel like mine is not going to uh, get the word out like it needs to be. So pass this along to your friends. If I had just this highlighter forever, I'd be happy. Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals. Happy 15-ish minute Friday. Today's video is all about my favorites from Laura Mercier. I have loved the brand for years and years and years, and I have done a best of Laura Mercier uh, video, but that was like a few years ago, so I thought it would be fun to round up my five essentials from the brand in a 15-minute Friday to kind of show you guys exactly what I think that you need to try if you have not tried anything at all. The first thing that I like have to have in my kit, in my own makeup rotation, is the Laura Mercier Vital Luminier Foundation. I've talked about this foundation off and on for years. I have a review. This is not a new gal over here. Today I am wearing the shade 2W1 Macadamia. That's the shade that I am in when I'm self-tanned. I have one round of self-tanner on. So this is my shade. If I am not self-tanned, it is a one in two. So I will have both shades linked below along with everything that I talk about today. But if you have not tried this foundation, just a quick overview. If you have dry skin and you're looking for something that has sheer to medium coverage, you can really get both with this and uh, have a nice effect all across the face. This gives such good coverage. It looks luminous throughout the day, even though you may need to powder it down. It looks great, not powdered, powdered. This is one of my holy grail foundations. And if you have dry skin, I think that you will love this foundation as well. If you have dry skin and you're trying Laura Mercier out for the first time, I highly recommend this. I do love the Flawless Fusion foundation, especially when I'm going for more of a satin and matte look, but I reach for this more often than not. Another essential, essential, essential from the brand is candle glow powders. Now, I have always had shades one and two in my rotation. This is the shade one. It's what I have all of my makeup set with today. This just gives such a gorgeous, luminous finish, not in a shimmery way, but in a more healthy glow type of way. Now, they discontinued too. That's the shade I normally use to set my foundation with when I'm self-tanned, but today we used one and it still looks great. This is wonderful to set your under eyes. It's wonderful as an eyeshadow base. It just gives your skin the look of health. And I have compared this recently to the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder because I also love that press setting powder. This just gives me more of a luminous look and my skin needs that boost right now. So I've been reaching for this, but the Candle Glow setting powders, these are some of the best setting powders, press setting powders on anything on the market. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, if you haven't tried these, I feel like they're not discussed enough, not talked about enough. Um, now I have talked about them forever, but a small channel like mine is not going to uh, get the word out like it needs to be. So pass this along to your friends. Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder is a step above all setting powders. Pressed, I love the loose powder. Next is a product that I have not put on yet because I wanted to demo it in this video, the Matte Radiance Powders. I use two of them and have for a very long time now uh, for two different reasons. So the first one is the Matte Radiance Powder in Bronze 01. I love using this as a bronzer when I'm self-tanned, so I will take a stippling brush and I will just kind of dust it all over. And Bronze 01 gives just such a nice kind of veil of bronze. And the Matte Radiance Powders, they are like basically what they say. They're, they're matte but radiant. That's kind of what the Dior Backstage Powder kind of boasts a little bit. But this does, if you just need like an extra bit of warmth to your face, but you don't necessarily need to go in with a full bronzer bronzer like a matte bronzer the laura mercier matte radiance what is happening yes this is wonderful for an all over type of warmth also it's great in the crease of your eyeshadow because or eyelid because these kind of blend out very softly and it looks really good on eyelids the other one this is still top five because these are my favorites in the camera Corey. Matte Radiance Powder in Highlight 01. This is a highlighter I've used for years. And uh, right now I just have the actual <laughs> Laura Mercier Celestial 
light catcher and celestial light on my cheeks, but we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you the matte radiance and highlight 01. Look at this. It is so gorgeous. And since it is so trendy right now to have a highlight without shimmer, this is a great alternative if you're not into cream highlighters, even if you are, like right now I'm putting this over my cream products, but this is all over just a nice powder because the more you apply, the more you blend out, the more the pearl pigments kind of pick up and get glowier. So you can just quickly dust this on for a nice radiant matte finish, or you can blend it out and really kick up that pearl pigmentation there. Isn't it stunning? I don't know why more people do not rave about this. There's so many highlighters on the market. I feel like this one, if I had just this highlighter forever, I'd be happy. Next powder is a powder that I just talked about. It is the Laura Mercier Light Catcher Powder in the shade Celestial Light. There's other shades for darker skin tones, uh, but this is recent. This is, I, it launched last year and it has been such a staple in my makeup rotation just because I have dry skin and this is almost like the matte radiance powder where it just gives you a glow. There's no like crazy shimmer, but this is a finer like setting powder. I have this all over my face. You can set this, set your entire face with this or build it up to be a highlight, which is what I had on before I applied the matte radiance. It's stunning that way. The, Laura Mercier killed it with the light catcher powders. It's not a highlighting powder. It just gives you again the look of health with an extra little glow added to that health definitely check out those powders if you're looking for something to just really give your skin that final touch of health and glow next are blushes the color infusion blushes today i have on this shade peach this is an essential because i buy so many blushes blush is one of my favorite things to purchase along with lips basically everything I don't really like buying brow products. It just feels monotonous, but everything else, it's pretty fun. And the mascara is a little risky, but blush, I buy so many, I try so many, and these always stand out to me. This is the shade that I have on today, which is peach and the color infusion blushes. If you could airbrush blush onto your face, that's what this would look like. I'm not going to say that they minimize pores, but they don't enhance them and they don't make my skin look dry. I have my three like holy grail shades. I have all of the shades that have ever been released, but these three are my go-to always in rotation. The next one is Chai. This is such a beautiful nude rose blush. It's right there on my finger. You guys have seen me, if you've watched me for any amount of time, you've seen me use this a billion times. It's almost hitting pan actually. Then we have my beloved all time. If I had one blush, if I had to pick one blush forever, it would be this one, no joke, ginger. This is such a flattering, deep, rosy peach. It goes with cool tones, warm tones, nude lips, bold lips. Ginger is just like, blush perfection. So if you guys have not checked out the Laura Mercier color infusion blushes, I know that, you know, there's a lot of crazy releases right now and it's just like, this looks like this. It's just sometimes the quiet staples need a little attention so we don't lose them. You know what I mean? Like it's so scary now with COVID. I just want holy grail great products to be paid attention to because if we continue to pay attention to like the flash in the pan type of products. It's just scary. It's just scary. I don't want any more makeup brands to, to close. Last but not least, an essential, essential, essential from the brand. Nobody else makes eye products like this. The Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. I have my four favorite shades out of all of them. Uh, today I am wearing Cobblestone and Moonlight. These, okay, I picked my two favorite matte shades and my two favorite shimmer shades. The matte shades are wonderful. They're like a MAC paint pot perfected into a stick form. This is cobblestone and this is moonlight. And like I said, those are the ones that I have on today. I mean, this is glitter, but that's what's on my lids. And then my other two favorites, which are leaning more warm. This is caramel, caramel. And then we have, which is like, it's like a warm nude. Camera cut me off, but like I was saying, copper was, it was my first caviar eye stick that I ever purchased. 
So this is copper. Wait, where'd you go? Yeah, copper. It's got such a shine on it. Full coverage though. These are wonderful. They don't smudge, they don't crease. You can apply other products over them. You can um, just apply these, not set them with any type of powder or eyeshadow, powdered eyeshadow, and they do not budge. They are wonderful for the summer, and especially if you have hooded lids and you're just wanting like a quick, beautiful eye. I'm telling you, these are essential. Laura Mercier. Those are my essentials from Laura Mercier. Let me know if you guys have tried these, what you're interested in. I feel like this is a good introduction to the brand. Take two of these products and I swear if you try them out, they will become instant like staples, foundations in your makeup routine. <laughs> Come back and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Which ones are you gonna try? Because you're welcome, they're amazing. Have a wonderful weekend. If you haven't already, check out this video or that video or both videos. And don't forget to subscribe. All right.